So in this, you know, according to healing, if you are healing somebody, so their physical, mental, and spiritual alignment is very important. I mean, everyone should be in the alignment. If their physical body and mental body and spiritual body not in alignment, then you cannot heal. So the okay. sequence is first you need to start with the yoga or some stretchings. Then breath work means breath exercise. And after that, you need to give meditation. So if you give physical alignment first, if yoga is all about your physical alignment, you will feel energetic when you do stretching and yoga. And breathing techniques will give you benefits for your mind, stability, focus, concentration, connection, and meditation for your energetical body. It will give you everything. So today I will teach you the basic how to activate your joints. Joints are very important. This, this, this. These are the joints, neck, yes, three joints, first shoulder, elbow, and wrist. So yes. these are the joints of upper body and very important part. So I will teach you some exercises. It will help you if somebody is suffering from arthritis, rheumatic disease. So you can heal that disease through these exercises that I will teach you. So you will feel a little bit heat. I hope uh, you don't have any problem, physical issue, it means high BP. Do you, any, any disease do you have? Any disease? No. Okay, everything is fine? Yes. Okay, so then we can do that. So just sit straight and take your hand on your shoulder like this. Yes, touch yourself like this and move. Yes, be like this and move like this. One, comfortable. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relaxed. Now we will do, yes, this is very beneficial exercises for your joints. It will open the joints. And if somebody is suffering from arthritis, so this exercise can heal the arthritis issue. So now we will do backside like this. One, two, three, four, five, very good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, relax. Very good. It will open your joints and it will give you flexibility in your shoulder. So now take your hand straight, straight up, a little bit like this, yes. And now roll it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax. Good. This is for your wrist. It will help you in this. Now we will do backside. One, like that. Two, straight. Your hand should be straight. And move only your wrist. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 
20, relax. Very effective and very easy exercise to increasing the blood circulation in your joints here. It will help you to cure your arthritis, your, your joints pain, very effective. Again, take your hand straight like this. Totally straight, yes. And you have to do squeeze. One, two, tight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax. Very good. This is for your fingers, for that area. It will help you to increase blood circulation here, in that area. So these are the stretching exercises. Now we will do the neck exercise. Like one, two, three, opposite side. Like this? Yes, both sides. Yes. Do it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, relax. Now we will do up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Relax. Now we will do round, clockwise. Right to left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now do another side, anti clockwise. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, relax. Very good. It will give you stretch in your neck veins. It will help you to uh, cure your cervical pain. If there is a cervical pain in your neck, so it will cure with this exercise. Now take, do like this, and take like this, and take your hand straight up, and see your little finger up. See this finger up. Your little finger, watch. Your little finger watch up. Watch your little finger. Yes. And stretch, 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 stretch. And watch. Both both little fingers up. Yes. And you need to watch. You need to watch your little finger with your eyes like this. Yes. Be there. It's a very effective exercise for the cervical for your spine. It will help you to straighten your spine and it will help you to cure cervical pain. If somebody is suffering from cervical, it will help you cure. You need to do this 10 times every day, like this, stretch and hold yourself and see your little finger with your eyes. Watch. Your hand should be straight up, straight up. Yeah, like this and watch. And hold there and gently breath. Yes. Very good. And you can also hold this situation. Means you can also hold there 
as much as you can and then relax. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. So these are the stretching exercises that we need to do before breath exercise. Means you preparing your body for breath work. Okay. So now we are going to start breath work, breath exercise, and you need to follow the sequence. Sequence is very important. First stretching, then breath exercise. In this exercise, you need to do that is called the name of this exercise is Hastrika. Means the flow exercise. In this, you need to sit straight like me, like this, and inhale and exhale with the force and like this. In your nostril. This is called cleansing process. Continuously do. Don't stop. Continuously. Like that. Clean your nostrils. No, through your nose. No, only nose. Watch me, you need to go force when you exhale. Use your force. Very good. Do five times more. Use your force. Five times more. Relax. Now check your both nostrils. It's working. Both are working. Check on your hand. Both working. Both. Both are clean. Tell me. Both are working. Both nostrils working. Yeah. It's clean. Yes. This is called cleansing process. This exercise will clean your windpipe. There is a wind pipe inside us. With this exercise, we can clean that channel, your central channel and the nostrils. Very powerful exercise to cleanse your nostrils, the blockage. Okay? So now, this exercise is very difficult. That's why I was telling you, I need to see your belly, but uh, I cannot see right now. So you have to do right. Because that is very effective if you do wrong, so you will get a negative effect. So in this, just sit straight. I will squeeze my stomach in with exhalation. Okay? I'll show you how to do that. I will squeeze my stomach in with exhalation through my nose. Like this. I'm squeezing. Yeah, it's a very typical very effective for your liver, for your kidney, for your intestine, big intestine, lower intestine. It will increase your digestion system. You feeling sleepy? With no? One nostril, you one, nostril one nostril or two? One nostril? Both, both, both. Both, both. But don't inhale, no? You inhaling, you need to exhale when you're squeezing. You need to exhale. Inhale. No, no, no. You need to exhale like this. Watch me. No. When you squeeze your stomach in, you need to exhale. Exhale. Take your hand here. Take your hand here like this. And when you squeeze your stomach, feel your breath on your hand. 
Now you feeling sleepy? You not focusing? Okay. okay. We will not do this exercise. I will teach you different. Close your right nostril. Close with your thumb. Close. And now inhale from your right. Now block, block, block. Exhale from your exhale. Now inhale. One by one, like this. Inhale. Block. Exhale. Inhale. From the same side. From the same side. Inhale. Inhale now. Same side. Yes. When you exhale, then inhale from the same side. Inhale. Block. 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 When you inhale. Block. Exhale. Then inhale from the same side. Block. Block. Oh my God. I mean, this is, you never learn breath exercises. You never experience. Oh my God, you make me mad. <laughs> okay, don't learn breath exercises. Because these are very effective. If you want to heal any disease, you can heal with this exercise, but you're not learning. You need to, this is called alternate breathing exercise. Means you need to inhale from the right, inhale, then block, exhale from your left, then inhale from the left, exhale from the right, alternate. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, like that. Block. How are you doing? Like this. You're not learning. You're not learning. I don't know what's going on with you. <laughs> Listen to me very carefully. Listen to me. What I'm saying, you need to block your left nostril. Block. You need to block it. Don't do anything, just block. Now inhale inside, inhale. Block, block, block now. Block. Please, please. Listen, listen. Listen it, what I'm saying. Oh, God, I know. Okay. Okay. What I am saying to you, just listen it very carefully first. I am saying the name of this exercise is alternate nostril breathing. Means you block your one nostril, then you inhale from one, then you block this, then exhale, and again inhale, then block. Then exhale like that, one by one. Inhale from the right, exhale from the left. Then inhale from the left, exhale from the right. Like that, one by one. Inhale, block, block your nose, block. Then you inhale. Now exhale, exhale. Now inhale, inhale from the same side. Inhale from the same side. Yes, block. Yes, block. Exhale. Like this. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Yes. One by one. Alternate. One by one. Oh, I never experienced this in my life. I have a patience with you. Um, I will get patience, more patience. Why you don't understand what I'm saying? When you inhale, when you inhale from here. Inhale. Yes, inhale. Okay, now block. Exhale. 
Now inhale. Exhale. You need to do like this one by one. One by one. Inhale. Why you go there? Why, why don't you inhale from the same side when you exhale? <laughs> why you go on the other side? Yes. Wait, use inhale. Your use your both hands. Use your both hands. Use your both hands. Yes. Inhale. Block. Block. Exhale. Now inhale from the same side. Inhale. Block. Exhale. Yes. Do like this. Do this. And sit straight. Sit straight. Oh my God, you never experience. You need to watch my videos. You need, to I mean, watch, yeah. you need to watch my YouTube videos. You know, this exercise, the breathing exercise that you're not doing right. But if you do right, you can heal cancers with this exercise only. You can heal paralyze. You can heal any is, disease. Only with is, this exercise. It, is your exercise on YouTube? Yes. I, I, okay. I, I record videos and I put on my YouTube. But I never recommend people just like you do not do it right. So YouTube cannot watch you. You do it right or wrong. That is only for information. If you are not understanding when I'm teaching you, so YouTube cannot teach you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just so we will. This is called alternate breath. Means when you inhale from one side, you exhale from another side. Then again inhale from. The same side and sit for other side. One by one, we do this. But in this, you know, we, we take deep inhalation. <sighs> yes, like this. But we create this mudra. Do like this, it will give you easy. Yes, now, now block, block. Yes, and you can use this finger also, this one. And try to do deep inhalation and long exhalation. We observe our breath. What we do, we observe breath. Breath is your life force. And breath is everything in your body. Without breath, you cannot live on earth. So this exercise will increase your span, your lifespan. It will give you healing. But when you do right, first you have to learn deeply. So these three exercises are enough for today. So the first exercise that is called Bastrika. And the second exercise you didn't understand. So I will not recommend because that is very effective and dangerous if you don't do right. So this exercise you understand. So this is called alternate breath. It means like this. How easily I'm doing? Very easily, alternatively. Do this. Put your finger up, this one also. Yes. This is called Vishnu Mudra. Now do like this. Have to do like this and slowly slowly make command I, means i have to i have to practice yes 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 you have to practice at least do five minutes 
and your body should be still don't move your body like that when you're doing this and try to take deep inhalation like this i can take very deep so i'm talking about the science with you it's a scientific it's make it's make it's making me a little dizzy because you're doing like that in the beginning people feel dizziness they will feel pain here there is no problem in the beginning they feel but slowly slowly when you practice right then you will feel so relaxed this is very relaxing exercise very relaxing even you can forget about your body when you practice right i practice this every day and according to the masters just like you feeling very sleepy i think first time you awake early in your life i think you wake up so early today <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you know your yawning is distracting me so you can do meditation then and the meditation is all about thoughtless state when there is no thought that is meditation nowadays we have a lot of thoughts and we think we are meditating but when there is no thought that is meditation thoughtless state but people meditating and when they are chattering inside and they sitting like this and they are chatting with the mind so the sit comfortable close your eyes and follow my commands inhale and exhale naturally just like you do inhale and exhale naturally don't move your body it should be smooth gentle inhale and exhale and use your nose exhalation and inhalation inhale and exhale don't use your mouth use only your nose when you exhale and focus on your breath when you inhale and exhale and slowly slowly travel with your breath inhalation and exhalation go deep and reach to your root chakra with your inhalation your root chakra color is blood red and there is a four lotus four petal lotus and the seed sound is lum so you have to visualize your root chakra the blood red and there is a distraction this one more Silent your phone. Too silent. Again, close your eyes and concentrate on your breath and focus on your breath. I'm going to take you to your chakras. Inhale and exhale. Relax your mind completely in relaxation. Reach to your root chakra and visualize the blood red color is in your root chakra. And there is a lotus with the four petals. And there is a sound is the sound coming through your root chakra is lum, 
Lam, 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 Lam. This sound is coming out through the root chakra. This is the seed sound of your root. Focus on your root chakra and I will chant the sound so you can listen the vibration on your body, on your energies. The root chakra, the blood red color, the lotus with the four petals, and the sound is down, 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 down. Lam, 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 Dum, 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 Feel the vibration of your seed sound of your root chakra inside the root. Lam 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 Oh. 
and experience the inner power of my root chakra. That is the area of creation. You create this world with that. You absorb lots of energy inside through the root chakra. Very powerful area. Very connected. It's only up to you. You want to activate your emotions and feelings or not. Only you can decide this. You want to lift your energies up or not, only you can decide. Because when you allow your powers, then they will appear out. So that is the area of your sexuality that belongs to your sexuality. Without that, there is no world the whole world focusing on that, based on that energies. And that energy lifts us up in the spiritual, in the crown chakra. Crown chakra is the hub of spiritual energies. And your root chakra is the hub of your sexual energies, your emotions, your connections. And if you want to lift your energies, you can lift. If you want to stop your energies, you can stop. And if you want to release your energies, you can release. Only you can decide. What you feeling? What kind of feeling you feel in the root chakra when you are listening? I feel it open. I feel it expand. I feel it pulse, pulse, open, expand, pulse. It means continuously opening and closing, opening and closing. That kind of effect, open and yes. close. Yes. Are you blocking your sexual energies? You never want to transform your sexual energies? You don't want to create that in you? Do you have problem with your sexual energies? Do you have trauma? No. Any negativity with that? No problem. I'm not active. No problem. Okay, that's why. That's why you're experiencing more and more of situation with that because you are not active. I'm not active. Yes, that's why the chakra is blocked. Your channel is energy is blocked there because you are not active. Because that base, that is the base of your energies, means your root. If that is blocked, you don't want to waste uh, how much time you are not active, how much time. It's long based. time, long time not active. Means one year, long. two year, three years. Um, one time last year, before that, seven years. Seven years. Okay, year. so last year, one time, you physically- One time year. last year, before that, probably okay. seven years. Seven oh, years. So you are not active physically in the PC or you even you don't do self pleasure. No active with a mate. With a mate. Okay, so but you do self pleasure from last year? Yes, I, I self pleasure. So you do self pleasure, but you don't intimate with the male. Self pleasure, but no mate. No mate. Okay, so how often you do self pleasure? Once in a day, once in a week, two days in a day. So what time? Uh, <laughs> I want to understand. Twi so, twice a month. Twice a month. Twice a month. Okay. So it means so you don't have that energy. No, I'm just asking to understand. You want to lift up or not? So we will not touch that energy. If you don't want, if you don't feel good, good. So we will not touch that energy. That's why I'm asking. Just like if you if you do 15 days, you know, you know one time in a 15 days. So, right. or you don't want to uh, experience that no, energy? Um, I, I was not, no dates, pandemic, at home, alone, no dates. I understand, I can understand. I'm just not talking about you not going for a date. 
Now in in this practice, it will activate your sexual energies. So I am because uh, what I am teaching you right now, it will open that area. Yes. So that's yes. why I want. I want to open. I want to open. I want to be ready for mate. I want to okay. open. So you want to experience your uh, sexual energies. Yes. So you have to allow yourself because. Uh, so if you want it, so I can stop or you want to report because uh, when I will start this conversation, we will transfer energies. So you will feel sensation there. So you want to me to record or you just need to stop there. So then you just want to experience how it goes. Just tell me. You just want to experience so I can give you the touch how it goes. I want the experience. Okay, so I'm stopping. Yeah, I'm, so I'm going to stop the recording and uh, I will give you that experience first. Then you will decide you will record or because the emotion will come. I will touch my masculine energies to your feminine. Okay. You send me a text message. No, no, I'm not doing text message. I'm just going to stop this recording. Stop the recording. Yes, I'm going to stop the recording. Okay. Right now, wait. 